One summer in the garden, there were six little caterpillars. They started munching on the leaf they were sitting on, and when they finished one, they went on to the next. All little caterpillars were eating as fast as they can chew. The little caterpillar was not so little anymore. Soon, it became too fat for its skin, so it takes it off like a coat and continues eating. One day, the caterpillar stops eating and curls up under a branch and falls asleep. Their skin turns into a case and hangs there silently, not moving an inch for a long time. All at once, it starts to wriggle, wriggle, wriggle until the case opens up. The case splits open and a beautiful butterfly comes out. It stretches out its new wings in the warm sunshine. All kinds of butterflies now roam around the garden. There's a stripy black one with a tail we call Papi. A small-footed one we call Nymphy. A lacy white one we call Pierre. A sheer, streaked, bright-winged one we call Laika. One with metallic spots on their wings we call Rio. And lastly, we have Skipper. He seems very different, but just like them, he is also a butterfly. The butterflies flutter from flower to flower, sipping sweet nectar from every one. Laika, however, likes to feed on little insects called woolly aphids. And Skipper likes to eat grasses and shrubs. There are a lot of other animals trying to eat and harm the butterflies. Most of them flies off to protect themselves. But Papi defends herself with toxic chemicals and sometimes imitates those that do. Papi, Pieri, Laika, and Skipper wanted to stay in the garden. But Nymphy and Rio likes to move from place to place. Nymphy and Rio went to the city and found less food to eat. There were so many buildings but less flowers to feed on. There were not a lot of leaves to sit on. Nymphy and Rio's baby caterpillars would not survive easily here. Nymphy and Rio could only go so much. The next land is too far away for them to survive flight, but it was their only chance. So they flew to look for another green patch. Meanwhile, back in the garden, Pierre and Laika wanted to go see the farmlands outside the small garden, and so they went. When Pierre and Laika reached the farmlands, Laika saw there was less flowers to enjoy. But the other plants that were there still looked delicious. Once Pierre and Laika started eating away, they both felt sick right after. They realized the pesticides and herbicides could have poisoned their meal, and so Pierre and Laika tried to fly back to the garden but couldn't make it for they felt too weak. Back in the garden, Papi saw a patch of woodland a few meters away and flew there. She saw many trees and enjoyed flying around the forest. In the city, as Nymphy and Ryu were nearing a patch of greenland, Ryu felt weak and started falling from the sky. There, Ryu did not survive the flight and had to give up. Nymphy felt so bad for Ryu, but had to keep flying for her sake. So she flew and flew until she reached the outskirts of the city and found more flowers to eat and leaves to rest on. While everyone flew around elsewhere, Skipper remained in the garden happily eating all the flowers he had to himself. Soon, the remaining butterflies started laying their eggs and days later, one by one, the little caterpillars popped out of their eggs. Can you guess what happens next?